This is the first lecture in the course More Biosource Air Toxics Risk Assessment. My name is Jesse T and I will be presenting today the course content, the schedule for the course, how I'm going to grade your work and the first concepts. This is just a little bit of the experiences I have with human health risk assessment from air toxics, both for human health and ecological for stationary sources and mobile sources. I'm a co-author of the US EPA federal protocol called the Human Health Risk Assessment Protocol and also of the Screening Level Ecological Risk Assessment Protocol. I'm a co-author of the US EPA RAMI, which was a risk assessment using multiple sources, multiple chemicals, multiple pathways in the region of the greater Houston area. This was the largest such study ever conducted anywhere in the globe. Subsequent to that, we evolved and we developed a much more extensive risk assessment system with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency. This is called MinRISC and we will talk about it during the course. Finally, I'm president of Lakes Environmental and participating in the development of risk assessment both for short term and long-term exposure to hazards. The course lectures will consist of eight lectures. This one is lecture one. We'll proceed to traffic models to see roads, cars on the roads, where the overall traffic, spacing between vehicles, etc. We need that to feed into the mobile source emissions model. We will use predominantly the US EPA moves we're going to proceed with results from moves, the emissions from vehicles, trucks, cars, buses, etc. And we inject that into a dispersion model. We're going to use air mod from the US EPA. Both the emissions moves and the dispersion model, air mod, will be run within an open source code called TRAX. I'm one of the authors of TRAX which is being under development by Lakes Environmental and RSG on behalf of the National Academy of Science. Once we have the dispersion where the pollutants are traveling every hour, we are going to go and have a study on fate and transports of the mobile source air toxics. And this includes how pollutants will move from air to soils, from soil to plants, from air to water, from soil to water, from plants to animals, from animals to human beings. Once we have the fate and transport understood and calculated quantitatively, we're going to move to human health risk assessment, where we will assess total dose per chemical and the impact on the human health. And this includes cancer risks and non-cancer risks. We will consider in the subsequent lecture ecological risk assessment. And this involves how toxics move throughout food webs and how they affect each trophic level with its specific chemicals and tissue concentration. Well, since none of our models, none of our input data is exact and perfect, every risk assessment must consider uncertainties. We will address these uncertainties, which ones they are, and then we're going to go and describe how to incorporate most of these into Monte Carlo approaches. Of course, we'll take 10 weeks from September to December. We will present roughly 30 minutes and maybe longer than that. Weekly classes, these are taped and you can download them anytime. At the end of the course, we'll have student presentations and these are based completely on the contents that we present during the course. Course assessment, we're going to grade you basically throughout these 10 weeks and we will have assignments every week. We have assignments with electronic tests. Final presentation and conclusion paper that the course attendees, those that require credits for the course, will be worth 30% of the final grade. 